Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 37th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the Gecko Science Compact F 2021. Just got this in. Um, they are available at 419 Mining, um, Bitcoin Merch. I think ASIC puppies gonna have them in on the state side, and uh, for some international sellers, there's a uh, iBoot and Bit Shopper, and um, it's really funny because a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a month or two ago now, I dropped a video uh, reviewing the uh, new pack, and um, and then they announced these, so, and I just got them in. Been uh, I literally got them in yesterday. I haven't even um, overclocked them properly yet. Uh, I have um, like 12 running. <laughs> I'm a fucking savage, right? <laughs> you know, it's one of the funniest things about kind of like this, um, like, uh, I guess, like having a YouTube channel and seeing a whole bunch of people like comment on it. It's like everyone's like, yo, how much is the ROI? How much is the ROI? And I'm just kind of like, bro, I'm just happy I get to fucking mine without like have mad noise, you know? I don't want to have a freaking loud ass S19 that I got to fucking, or S17. Uh, I don't want to be building a big ass fucking box just to fucking mine Bitcoin. Like, I'm just happy I get to mine. And like, you know, it's cool to me that I can get more hashes with this. Uh, <laughs> that's like the coolest thing for me. Um, but I guess it's also a little bit different because I'm in, in, in a little bit of a different place in, in the cycle. Um, <clears throat> in all honesty, I feel like once you get to like 28 million sats or something like that, you can just, uh, you can kind of just like chill <laughs> and then just wait a little bit. Um, and that's kind of like what, what, what I'm doing. It's just, uh, I got, I got my point two way chilling and, um, I want to get into mining a little bit more. So I copped a bunch of these. And uh, I, actually, the best deal, in my opinion, is uh, Mine Farm Buy. I'll put a, a link in the description. But this guy, he he's selling like nine sticks, like nine sticks right now for like eight hundred bucks. And um, if you get um one of the hubs, um, you can uh, essentially overclock them properly to potentially get. Uh, the over 300, 350 giga hashes that you should be able to get on each stick. So I want why, this is one of the reasons why I think uh, the mine farm buy deal is uh, is probably one of the best ones. And um, if you have absolutely no equipment right now, like you don't have nothing, you've never ever mined before, then your ROI time is probably going to be a little bit longer. Um, I think all in, you might, I'll, uh, and I'll try to like assemble like a little bit of a like list, purchasing list and put it in the description if people are interested. Um, but I'm guessing for like around a thousand, maybe like $1,100, uh, you should be able to push <laughs> anywhere from like three, like, like. Let me let me do the minimum. Let's see, three hundred fifty times nine. So, <clears throat> with the mine farm buy rig, it's like. I'm guessing like all in for maybe around a thousand dollars to 1200 depending on what kind of like raspberry pi uh setup you kind of do um you'd be able to push anywhere from like two to four and a half tera hashes de depending on how you overclock it and the reason why i think that it's a uh, kind of cool is like at the current bitcoin price um i think the the approximate cost for this setup is around 1.5 million satoshis um and if you mine with this for about a year and a half to two years 
uh, maybe a little bit longer, you should catch up, uh, assuming like the difficulty grows at a, you know, relatively like stable pace. Uh, you should be able to catch up what it costs you in Satoshis. And that's very, very rare for miners. And in my opinion, that's what's that's what's the most important, because if you're mining and you spend uh, one Bitcoin and you only mine half a Bitcoin throughout the entirety of the miner's life, you know, you lost half a Bitcoin. If you're looking at it straight from a ROI perspective. Um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's kind of like um, why I think that this one is a good deal, because I think like after the 2024 halving is kind of like when um, something like this is really going to make sense. And the reason why is because, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that after the 2024 halving, their gear is going to become a little bit more obsolete because their profits are gonna get cut in literally half. So in order to compete, you need something, uh, hardware that's more efficient, uh, or you need less overhead or something like that. And that's kind of like what this device enables you to do because for something like seven to 10 bucks in electricity a month with a, with a rig like the Mine Farm Buy one, after you ROI, like your, your cost one to run the rig is like significantly lower than everybody else. And then two, you're getting a higher uh, watts per per terahash. You're doing a lot better than than an S9 uh, at a guy that has electricity that's at ten cents uh, a, a kilowatt hour. You know everything is a trade off trade off because then you don't have as high as a hash rate. But then like you know you're not spending dropping that much on electricity, and you are helping decentralize the network. Another thing to uh, to to take into account is like even though like this thing might seem expensive, if you look at the price of an S nineteen right now, they're uh, charging like ten thousand um, dollars or nine thousand dollars for for an S nineteen, and if you look at that, you know so you can say roughly uh, for an S nineteen you're paying like a hundred uh, anywhere from like like ninety to like one hundred and ten dollars. For each terahash that that machine produces, so let's say you theoretically can max it out at the um, at the four and a half terahash like threshold, um, and all in you spend like a G on uh, the hardware, your your cost per terahash is like around like two hundred twenty dollars and change like that. So you're high, you're a lot higher in cost per terahash than the S nineteen. But you have to buy less terahashes. You know, you don't have to spend 10K. You can spend a tenth of that. And then on top of that, you don't have to do spend money uh, on a hyper, on, on, on an electrician to uh, wire up your whole freaking, rewire up your whole house. And you don't have to have any kind of like special, special breakers to make, that you, make sure you don't burn your ha house down. You just got to make sure that like it's properly cooled, uh, that you have a, a solid power supply with it. And um, that's more or less it because something like this is designed for residential use. And that's kind of like why I try to focus on these smaller SHA-256 ASIC miners because um, it's important. If the, if the network is ever attacked, if the network ever goes down, I'll tell you this. You're going to be super hyped that you have something like this because uh, the difficulty should come crashing down in that kind of situation. And, you know like that's about that <clears throat> you know you could technically you could you could fucking run something like this off like a solar battery uh that you got that you got off of amazon for like 20 bucks um will it produce a whole bunch no but maybe in uh in a in a catastrophic uh shit hits the fan scenario like it'll be dope to have I'll tell you that uh because yeah yeah that's uh that's kind of like what it is Anyway, I wanted to do a quick overview of it. Um, I've been averaging so far around 250 giga hashes per stick. Uh, running 12, getting like three tera hashes. I still got more to uh, hook up. Uh, they're running at my mom's crib because uh, that's kind of like the point. It's just like, let's, let's decentralize the hash. Uh, get people into Bitcoin. Got a couple of these rigs. I'm just going to be putting them in like people's houses uh, and then kind of just con controlling them all through... Uh, through like some SSH or some shit like that. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll provide a little update on that.
the uh, my projected ROI time is like two or three years. So we'll see if uh, if uh, how how it goes in the long run, and uh, I will be doing little little updates on them because small hash is important. Anyway, this is uh, J Talk Script. This video is getting kind of long. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know I hate fucking asking, pero this is J Talk Script on us. I'm off.